Hello, it's Mr. Sampson and my cat, and I would like to read you a story called From Here to There. It is about a girl who wants to travel <laughs> different places, and um, she can't leave her house, which is kind of similar to what we're experiencing right now, so I wanted to read it to you. It's by Marjorie Kuehler, illustrated by Yu Cha Pak. From here to there. My name is Maria Mendoza. Looks like she's writing her address here. Maria Mendoza, 43 Juniper Street. I live with my father, my mother, my baby brother, Tony. And my older sister, Angelica. At number 43 Juniper Street, in the town of Splendora, In the County of Liberty, in the state of Texas, in the country of the United States, on the continent of North America, in the Western Hemisphere. on the planet Earth, in the solar system, in the Milky Way galaxy, in the universe and beyond. From here to there, my name is Maria Mendoza. So that might look like a very short book, but I want to go back through it with you so that you can see what's really interesting about what the author and illustrator did. Starting off with this picture, there's Maria in her room and she is writing on an envelope. I wonder what she's going to put in that envelope. The story doesn't tell us, so we have to kind of figure it out by making an inference. Now look at the next page. What do you notice about this page? Does something look familiar to you? What I notice is I see Maria in her room writing on her envelope, but now we're looking outside of her room. There's her mom and her, her, um, her brother, Tony. There's her father getting ready to cook. When I turn the page, take a look at what Maria is doing. What is she doing? Looks like she's leaving the house. She left her room. And we see Angelica in her room. And now Maria is doing something. She is putting her letter into the mailbox. Now this next picture is not so close. The previous page we saw the house like this close. Now it's further back. We can now see her whole town. And towns or cities are all located in counties. For example, 
we live in Monterey County, even though you might live in Seaside or Marina or Monterey or Salinas, you live in the county of Monterey. Here, in this girl's town, she lives in the county of Liberty, and Liberty has lots of other little towns in it. Counties are in states, and each state has several counties in them. This is the state of Texas. We live in the state of California. And what I also find is interesting is the illustrator chose to include some symbols that Texas is well known for. Some of those pictures show what we know Texas for. I wonder if this book were about California, what kind of symbols the illustrator would put. Then the illustrator chose to make Texas be a different color than the rest of the United States. I wonder why the author or why the illustrator did that. Why did the illustrator make Texas be a different color? I think it's probably to show the uh, and and compare the size of Texas to the rest of the country as well as show where it's located because the girl lives in Texas and this book is about a girl who lives in Texas so they probably wanted to make sure we could see Texas right so the green is the United States as well as the yellow state of Texas that's also part of the United States and up here we have Canada at the top and we have Mexico at the bottom then the illustrator is pulling back even further to show not just the United States, but showing the entire continent of North America. And North America has several countries in it. A continent is a big mass of land. And then here the illustrator decided to go even further out to show that this is part of the world called the Western Hemisphere. The other part of the world, the Eastern Hemisphere, has other continents, but the Western Hemisphere has North America and South America, which we can see here. And the illustrator is showing the entire planet. They're kind of showing it from above, what it looks like from the top. Some of you might be wondering, what is this over here? I think it might be the sun. And planets hang out with other planets in groups called solar systems. So the Earth is just one planet in the entire solar system. There's lots of other planets in the solar system. And solar systems hang out in groups and form galaxies. And all of the suns, in our, in our solar system there's one sun, but in other solar systems they all come together and you can see they make all this light. In fact, at night, on a clear night, if you look up in the sky, you can see part of the Milky Way galaxy. If you look up in the sky and there's kind of a band of, of what looks like stars all together, it looks almost like a cloud. It's called the Milky Way. And then galaxies are in the universe. So the author and illustrator chose to write this book starting from one character, one girl, and going outward I'm wondering why the author chose to write this book. What was the author trying to say? Hmm, that's something I want you to think about. Also, how does this book relate to the situation that we're all in right now where we're not really allowed to leave our house? Why might this book be kind of interesting to think about in this time? Hmm. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope to read more to you soon. Bye.